already. <laughs> 75 cents on the dollar. But see, in this economy, every day that feels a little smaller, and I know it may seem like just a pocket full of change, but when it comes out of a woman's pay, it's strange that a whole quarter falls out every time they click it up. See, if the same quarter fell out of my pocket, I'd sure as heck pick it up. Now, if it were a couple pennies, I might not say the same thing, but I'm gonna throw my two cents in anyway. If you take the Washington out of the Washington, you get nothing, and you may say, well, 75% is still something, but look at the last time a person was a percentage. I'm not talking about statistics, but when you take a person and disparage them from the dollar, only six dimes, that's how it was back in slave times, and I know that's something we all want to forget, but think back to the time of the suffragette, it's not as far back as it appears. See, in this country, women haven't even been voting for a hundred years, and if my grandmother weren't newly up in heaven, she'd be right around 97. Of this earth, she was one of many long-time residents, so to say that she isn't worth 25 presidents would make Lincoln feel a little less linked in. And it seems like day by day this ship of equality is sinking, so I'm going to say something to keep this boat afloat and keep man on his toes. If I should ever have a daughter, I want to name her Rose, after Rosie the River. And I'm not sure if it's because of her spirit, if it's because she was knocking down John's wall three quarters of a century before we were doing the John Wall. She showed us that muscle and strength are two different shows, which is why the name has got to be Rose. I mean, I like hope, but hope isn't good enough sometimes. So if you ever want to make three quarters equal to ten dimes, then something has got to change. Which is why if I could, I would rearrange gender roles, do a little recasting, and you can call it a play. But see, playing around is the last thing I would ever do with a poem. When it comes to people, you really ought to get to know them before you say one is worth less than another. See, in my house, we didn't have no breadwinner, only a father and a mother. So I cringe every time I hear something like, she's just a housewife. Because no matter how you count it, that's still a human life. When it's over, it's gone, it's spent. So who the hell is anyone to say it's only worth some percent? And last time I checked, paychecks weren't gods, which is why I find it a little bit odd that a woman's purchasing power parity is significantly less than that of a man's due to a pay scale disparity of 75 cents on the dollar. But see, I think I found a fix. There's this Bible verse. It comes from the book of Acts, verse 17, 26. It states that God made all men of one blood and therefore equal, but see, the Bible has a sequel. It's the Equal Rights Amendment, the ERA, and no, it doesn't measure runs given away by someone who happens to be pitching, but rather rights guaranteed to someone who's apparently supposed to be in the kitchen. See, I dream of a world in which men and women are treated the same, but until that day, if I should have a daughter, her name will be Rose, not Penny. But trust me, she'll be a dime, but treat her like 10% and you'll be wasting your time because she, like her father, will make you see just how important a pocket full of change can be.